Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you guys how we take this stainless steel plate here, or sheet metal in other words, and draw this pattern that the customer wants, and we're going to cut 40 of these. We're going to walk you through the process of how we do it. Alright guys, now that we're at our computer, we're going to go ahead and pull up our drawing program and start drawing that piece. So we're pretty much just going to draw it with straight lines since it's a simple object. Um, first off, the measurements that were on the plate, the bottom was five and three quarter. So we're going to draw that line, which is right there in red. Now we're going to come up three inches, which was what was on the drawing, on each side. Then they showed a 45 degree angle at an inch and a quarter tall. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw up another line off that three inch line. That's one and a quarter tall. Then we're going to go and draw a 45 degree angle line that is intersecting with this one. Same thing on the opposite side, which we can actually do this a little easier. We'll figure out what this measurement is here, which is inch and a quarter since it is a 45. So we'll go up inch and a quarter on this side, go to the right an inch and a quarter, and then we're going to connect this end point back to this end point. And then we'll draw our straight line across the complete top. Come in here and delete these lines that we drew for a reference. And bam, we've got our part. So now we're going to end up making 40 of these pieces. So we're going to save this. As 40 stainless steel pieces for Tommy. We're going to save that. Now we're going to go into our nesting program to where we make a tool path so these pieces can cut. Going to bring our part in, which is the 40 stainless steel pieces. We drew it in inch form, so we're going to bring it in an inch. And there's our part, if you guys can see. I'll zoom out a little bit on the screen here. So there's our piece here. Now we need 40 of these. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create a cut path, which we want to cut on the outside edge. And we're going to be cutting that out of 16 gauge stainless. So let's find our 16 gauge stainless here. Cut speeds right. Hit OK. Now I'm pretty sure it's going to take four of these to make what they are actually making with them, which is going to be like a transition piece for a square cone, in other words. So we're going to put our start point of our pierce on our table right in the corner here because we know it's going to get welded up there. We don't want it like say up here or on the bottom because you may end up seeing a little bit of a mark. So we're going to put it in this corner here. That way whenever they weld this piece up, you will not see any start point or stop point or anything like that. Now I'm going to show you guys, we're going to right click on the part and we're going to copy this one. And then we're just going to rotate this 180 degrees bring it over to where we have about a quarter inch between each part which that's actually pretty good there we can probably go a little less than a quarter on these and if you notice that gave us a nice tight nest here uh, getting the most out of our material because if we were to turn it back the other way you see we'd have to go all the way over here and we lose a lot of material there in the middle so the best thing to do is turn it 180 get it over here as tight as possible. Now we're going to copy and paste these again. So now we've got four pieces here. Now all we're going to do is copy and paste that. A 
copy and paste these eight to now to make 16. Then we're gonna copy and paste that again. And that'll give us 32 pieces there. So now I'm just gonna grab these top eight again, copy and paste. And that's going to give us our 40 pieces. So now we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows of 4. We're going to go ahead and save that as the 40 pieces. And now we're going to pull up our next program, which is going to run our table. And we will show you how we set that up. So now we're gonna go here to load G code and we're gonna find our 40 stainless pieces which are right here on the top. We're gonna open that. You'll see it load here in a minute. Yep, there's our 40 pieces over here in the corner. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run outside and get the sheet of material and get it set up on the table. And then we'll show you how we zero our machine out on the sheet of material and start cutting. All right, guys, I had to come back into our program here and change the size of the sheet. I had something else in my head and it was not right. So I'm going to show you guys actually how we change the sheet size. That way we know what we're cutting is going to fit on our material. So we're going to go up here in the top corner to options, job options. And then here in this little screen, you'll see where it says size. Actually, there we go size x is going to be going this way y is going to be going up so our sheet that we're cutting is 18 and a half inches wide so we're going to put 18.5 and it's 96 long so that's fine so now as you can see that actually changes to where we can't do four wide anymore so we're going to grab our part and rotate it 90 degrees to see if we can get three wide zero that back out so now let's see if we can get three wide on here oh we may be able to get four wide this way perfect and get four wide so now we'll pretty much same thing four wide ten tall just turn the other way Let's make our spacing. Our spacing looks good here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and copy this first one. And same thing like we did in the last video, we're going to rotate this 180 degrees and give it just a little bit of space between our part here so we don't burn up so much material. And we're going to copy that. Same thing with that one, and then we're going to do the same thing with these other two here. Perfect. So now we're going to take that, copy it. That'll give us our 16 pieces there. Copy it with all 16. That'll give us 32 pieces. Now we need eight more, so we're going to grab these other eight up here and add those to the top. There we go. And we're gonna resave this. But first, let me close out of this program. Close it. Open our drawing program back up. Or sorry, our nesting program. And save that again. All right, now we're gonna bring our cutting program back up and load it back in. You'll see it change over here. Boom. See how it changed? Now it shows the that they're going up and down versus sideways. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Let's get this sheet on the table and start showing you how it cuts. Previously, we had cut some eighth inch aluminum, which called for a different tip and cutting amperage. So we're in the process now of changing out our tip 
on our plasma machine. That way it will cut correctly. So here is gonna be the electrode that's gonna go in. And here's the nozzle. That's gonna go into our retaining cap here and screw on to the end of our plasma. And now we're gonna be cutting this 16 gauge stainless at, let me see here, 35 amps. So we're gonna move over here and change our plasma to 35 amps. We're gonna reset it in the back here. So now we're at 35 amps. And also another thing we're gonna do is change our torch height controller to 65, which is the amperage that it uses to keep the torch at the same height as it cuts all these parts. So we've got that set. Now let's get this all cleaned up, get our stainless up here and rock and roll. All right, so now that we've got our stainless up on the table, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how we zero the machine out. That way it knows where to start cutting. Not sure if you can see in the video, but down here in the lower left hand portion of the sheet, we've got a little bit of a dent. So we're gonna try to miss that. And we're gonna actually start about five inches up from the bottom and come over about a quarter inch from the edge. So about right, right in there somewhere. We're gonna go ahead and zero our machine. Now let's get to cutting. There's our 40 pieces that we just cut. Gonna go ahead and clean those up, get the little bit of slag off of them that could be still left on, which there isn't very much at all. It cut really well, but we are gonna give our customer a clean piece. And there you go guys this is a clean part now both sides are nice and clean ready to go to the customer thanks for watching please subscribe stay tuned for more videos